kids on Christmas morning, all because we're going to the Melbourne Boat Festival. Never been to a boat festival before, don't know what to expect, hoping there's going to be old boats there. We know there's going to be lots of boaters selling their wares that they've made on board the boat. I know there's a pub so we can have refreshments <laughs> during the day. But anyway, it's all for a good cause. It's uh, been organised by the Shrewsbury and Newport Canal Trust, who are restoring the arm from Newbury across to um, Shrewsbury. Uh, more about it later. I can't speak anymore. My tongue's tied. Let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Jess seems to be getting really tired lately when we're walking along. We've got to get her to the vets, which we'll try and do this weekend. But this morning, she's really been struggling to keep up. So we're just trying her out in my bag. She seems quite happy, actually. Well, we might have to get her one of those backpacks, might we? I think to, we will. To put her in when she's done a, a fair bit of walking and we can carry her the best. We'll just give her a, a few minutes rest now and see how she goes and she can walk again. The thing is, I don't want us to get too used to it. No. She's quite a weight actually. <laughs> she quite but likes it. Anyway, come on Jess. <laughs> So the first boat we've met, or the first people we've met, is Alan from Starcrafts and we've heard loads about him and fabulous, not one boat, Two boats. Two boats, yeah, why not? <laughs> not two jags, two boats. So, oh, isn't lovely. It? So yeah. what are you do what are you selling? So we're selling so my wife's got a bit of a sewing obsession, Nikki has. Fancy. She's into embroidery. <laughs> she's got six sewing machines on here oh, on the boat. Wow. Um so she's into embroidery. So she makes a lot of cushions, uh, a lot of bags, kids inhaler cases, sanitizer cases, uh, all kinds of wow. uh, things she does. And then I make a few fenders, a few copper items, and we do some kids' sweets on the boat as well, yeah. Kid sweets, I'm interested. Kid sweets, like sewing <laughs> machine when everything else went, but sweets. Ah, yeah, there you go, yeah. But what, your boats are beautiful. Thank so you. So tell us about the boats. So the Nebula is a small Woolwich, star class Woolwich. Uh, she's a 1935 rivet iron, original old working boat, um, which we're still working today, albeit slightly different than what she was designed for. And then the outside boat is a replica of a small Woolwich. She's 2006 built by Roger Farrington at Braunston Bottom Lock you know, in the shed there you've probably been by and seen it yeah um, and we live on the on that boat that's home this right, is this okay. is work stroke shop yeah yeah gorgeous so do you steer with this rudder then yeah still? this hasn't got have an go? engine hold my dogs I'm gonna have a go can I go and yeah hold, of course can you I, can can I go and hold yeah. your rudder of course you can get on there <laughs> goodness <laughs> sake she's <laughs> up already <laughs> so where do you stand do you have to stand yeah stand in? down in there you so stand, stand down. down right what you do I'll give you a little lesson sorry that's alright no problem so I'll tell you, you hold your dogs a minute, because rather than, I'll just show you, and then if you want to do it yourself afterwards. Oh my god. So this is kind of. Look oh, at the, the dog. No, no, oh, right. never mind the dog, it's the stove. Oh, you can have a look at it. The stove's on, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of in your stowed position, if you like. We're not going along anywhere. This right. is up out the way, so we can cross the boats without okay, landing the red. Yeah, yeah. And when we're going, take that out. Oh, look at that. You turn that round. Do you know that is so simple? Now you can have a go. That is so simple. Yeah. What a simple idea. And then you can steer there, you know, yourself in the window. You can shut the doors, stove's lit. Let me just show awesome. inside the boat quickly. I'm not going in. Look Push who's up. inside the boat. Hello. They are immaculate. When was the last time they were painted? 2019, this one. I've had the cabin done on that one over the, this winter. Is that really heavy? It's not really heavy, no. That's it, it will suddenly come, turn it around, pop it back in, that's it. And then yes. it's out of the way, see? I yeah, like I, this. I just, Can we I've have got, another boat? I've just got a bit of OCD, I like to keep them clean, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You want to come and spend a day on our <laughs> <laughs> This is the place I need to be. I don't need to go anywhere else. And this is, look, 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 look at this. <laughs> and we're at the beanie boat. And this is Nikki. Hi. And, uh, oh, fabulous. I mean, we've Thank talked you. to you so much, but I've not met you before. Do you know, it's really funny because when I saw you guys going by yesterday, I thought, they must get really tired of people acting like they know them. Because Sharon and I <laughs> yeah, feel we like we know you. Them. We actually tooted you. I don't know if you heard us. So. <laughs> I did, I did. I, I thought we were going to have like two talks. I was going to like beat my horn as well. <laughs> but look, this is, this is just amazing. 
Um, Nick is going to measure Rich in a bit because we're going to have a hat made for him, but he's going to be a bit specific about what he wants. So I don't know if you're going to be able to do is, it. Is that specific or fussy? He what, wants what big, are... long pink tassels yeah, hanging down from it. Just, yeah. <laughs> do you really? I can no. do that. Just sparkles in it as well. Uh, no. <laughs> but I'm going to have to buy some of this because this, all of it, it's of so it. soft and so lovely. So where do you get all your yarn from then? Um, I'm, I'm really quite keen to work with a lot of independent dyers and also um, I do spot a lot of female businesses. So for example, Rivenitz, um, they are actually fellow boaters. So I, oh, they, okay. they were one of my first companies that I worked with um, getting wholesale yarn from and their yarn is amazing. And then I've also got um, Ducky Darlings. That's a lovely lady in the Peak District, Haley. And then here we've got Tumeki Yarns. This is a, a young lady from um, New Zealand, and all of her colourways are based on um, places back home. She now lives in Birmingham, and she is just the most amazing dye. I mean, some of her colours. I mean, look at this. It's just how she does it is just it just beyond me. The yarn I want to knit with. And I know that sounds probably yeah. a little bit snobby, but. I don't want to sell you what I wouldn't work no, with. No, no, I understand And that. I also want yeah. to know the background of where the yeah. yarn I'm working with comes from as well. Yeah. You know, I want to know how do they, you know, how, do they, how are the sheep treated? Like yeah, literally exactly. Going back that because far. wool isn't, when I first started weaving, I thought wool was a safe alternative to um, synthetics and stuff like that. Not but it always. isn't, is it? Because no. some sheep are really not kept well. No. So I'm the same. I try and, and select stuff where I can that I know yeah. where it's come from so yeah. I'm going to go away with a big bag full today I think I can give you a bag <laughs> yeah, let's move on then this is a very small display now I need to explain why the soap side so we, we are soapy goodness and woolly warmth is what we do and I need to explain why the soap side is very small today Sharon my partner is currently on a plane on her way to the Cayman Islands so don't feel too <laughs> sorry for her she has left me with a lot of responsibility because I got to be honest when she starts talking soap I kind of lose it because I her brain is so amazing with how she comes up with what she makes and the ingredients and how she puts them together and all the licensing and everything so don't ask me any technical questions no but I have had I've bought some of your stuff online and you've sent some soap out to me before yes, and it yeah. is amazing and we've been managing we've had one little bar of soap left that we've been using for the last week or so knowing that I could get some more fabulous, soap today fabulous. so um, so go online to the website which is beanieboat.com In fact, they've not got one boat, they've got two boats as well. I'm getting a bit jealous now. But Ruth paints all this fabulous stuff. So tell us a bit about your process, Ruth. I, well, like you say, I do all the roses and castles decoration. Uh, I've been doing it now for probably about nine years. Um, and it, my style has evolved and what have you. I do all the, the Canalia uh, gifts, giftware as well, model boats and what have you. Um, yeah, keeps me busy. It's wonderful, all the Buckby cans yeah. over there, which are traditional yeah. boat yes. cans, the mugs, yeah. but they love the little boats on the top. Yeah, You've got your eye on those, really haven't you? Stuff. So thank you very much. Because uh, attached yeah. to this boat, there's a fuel boat behind, and we've actually bought from you in yes. the past. Yeah. Um, so they travel around the canal supplying people like us with gas and coal um, yes. and all other stuff that you might need. We've passed so many traders and we can't speak to everybody, there's just too many. But we wanted to chat to these guys because they're from the Inland Waterways Association. So just tell us a little bit about what you're doing. 
Okay, well, we are the Shrewsbury District in North Wales branch, so we cover the, this canal and also things like the Flangoflin and the Montgomery, and we're just here to sort of publicise the, the waterways, raise money that we then um, donate to help the various uh, restoration things going on in our area. Yeah. So what's the big one that's going on at the moment? What's the big campaign? Probably the big one is the Montgomery, because yeah. that, that's yeah. uh, advancing well. It got a big um, a big donation from the um, yeah, Levelling Up Trust. We went uh, there, there, yeah, we yeah. loved it, Jenna. We walked we walked further along and looked at yes. the restoration where there were bits of it not yeah. quite meeting yeah. up and there was yeah. being done. Well, but, um, Tim, and, Tim and Prue are doing a, a sort of an appeal to raise money for the Schoolhouse Bridge, which is... Uh, uh, one of the sort of last remaining obstacles. I um, saw something about that yesterday. And that should so, hopefully yeah. be done in the next yeah. 12 to 18 months. Wow, well that means we'll have to go back and down there again then, won't we? <laughs> it's already joined some bits up to, to that, but it's that, yeah. with that out of the way then that's really an exciting. Yeah, I think so. it's a lovely canal, the Montgomery. Mm. Not many people go Beautiful. down there. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. peaceful, so it's lovely. Yeah. So if so. people felt that they wanted to oh, make a donation, yeah. what do they do? Um, well, I mean, with all these things, you can donate online. Um, yeah. There's, uh, uh, oh, well, obviously, we're taking donations as well here today. Oh, yes. but, so and it's waterways.org.uk. Yes, is that that's, right? that's the one. Okay. Yep. Yep. For, uh, that's for us. Yeah. That's brilliant. Thank you. Okay. When we were in Nantwich last Christmas, Rich bought me a present, and we've just come across. The stall, and I think these are made on your boat, aren't yeah. they? Your husband yeah, makes them. Yeah, my husband's going to make it. And uh, they're all made on a boat as well. So, um, gives oh, my husband fab. something to do. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't so, like him to get bored. Go to it? Nantwich because I think you're usually at Nantwich. We do quite a lot of Nantwich and Shrewsbury. Yeah. Yeah, and Chester. Can I like by Julie is my trade name. I've been painting for over 20 years. I paint boats as well. This is my boat. I've painted it myself. Oh, wow. I'm using enamel paint, sign writer's enamel. It's very hard wearing. I've been taught by master boat painters. I've been apprenticed to a gentleman called Phil Spate in his oh, boat yard. Spate, yeah. Yes, I was his. Phil, yeah. yeah. Taught me how to paint a boat. Yes. I haven't done it yet, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There's a knack involved in canal art. It's not difficult, but you have to get the knack. Once you've got the knack, you have it. So you know that I've had a go at making gin on the boat, but I've met the professionals now. Mm -hmm. So what's your name? My name's Nancy and I'm from Gangplank. So look at all Nancy's gins and tell us a little bit about it, Nancy. Well, um, they're all homemade on our narrow boat and we use uh, fruits that we've foraged along the canal or that we've encouraged people with allotments to bring their surplus to us and we um, transform them into gin, um, jams and chutneys and also infuse into our gins, whiskies, pot rums and vodkas. Can I go and get my wool and go home now? <laughs> Not until I've had an ice cream. <laughs> Come on then. Pit stop and it's a right nice pint. Cheers. So while we're here, we're hoping to do a walk um, down the Newport branch, I think, of the canal, um, which is under restoration. And we found this stall run by the Newport and Shrewsbury Canals Trust. And this is Bernie, and Bernie's going to tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, sure. The, we're at the finishing end, actually, of our canals. The Newport Canal was actually opened in 1835 and was designed and constructed by Mr Thomas Telford. 
and unfortunately he died just four months before it actually opened on the 22nd of January uh, 1835. The other canal that it's connected to, which is our Shrewsbury End Canal, 24 and 3 quarter miles from here, was uh, paid for to be built by the Duke of Sutherland. It opened in 1797. And so we've now got 24 and 3 quarter miles of canals to restore, and we've got about 7.5 miles of it back into water. And we've got three major projects that are underway at the moment. At the Shrewsbury End, there is a Berwick Tunnel which was one of the longest tunnels on the inland waterways for many years at 970 yards and either end the two portals have been closed down and overgrown and goodness knows what trees grown into the stonework there's been a lot of work been done there for the last couple of years to actually undo all that foliage um, and we will hopefully get the uh, tunnel open within the next 12 months or so the major project, our flagship project um, uh, at Wappenshaw Junction, which is where the two canals meet, just north of Telford, about 11 miles from here. Uh, we've got two grand Grade 2 listed warehouses. The smaller one we're going to turn into a very upmarket cafe um, and rewater the basin now that we've got all of the spoil out of it that it was infilled with back in the 60s and we've been doing a great deal of concreting work across the base of it with a polythene liner built a retaining wall of 46 meters across the back of it and that will be uh, hopefully rewatered this autumn once we get that done we'll then crack on with the rest of the work to get the building ready for the cafe which we plan to have open at the end of 2023 that will generate income to supplement the grants that we've got for the bigger transshipment warehouse which will be turned into a homage and visitor centre for Thomas Telford. Oh, a big plan then, isn't it? But where does most of the funding come from? Is it is it donations? And it, is it... It's, it's all sorts. We've had several grants, um, most the, the biggest of which was from the Heritage Lottery Fund uh, back in 2014. We've had other grants of 20,000 here, 20,000 there, but it's also down to a lot of hard work by a lot of people to recycle scrap metal, oh, wow. uh, to collect postage stamps, to recycle ink jet cartridges, coffee mornings, sponsored walks, you name it, we've done it. Um, but we've got the money together to actually finish Brilliant. that phase one of the project. And have we got a, a time when we might be able to cruise down it? Yeah, that's a really uh, a difficult <laughs> question to answer because there's a lot of work that's got to be done yet to cross the A41 and the A5. Yeah. Um, big, expensive projects. But if somebody would sort of put their hand in deep pockets and come up with about 60 million quid, we could get it done in about we'll four years. We'll get a lottery ticket. And if it uh, comes up, we'll help you out. Brilliant. I'll hold you to that. Well done. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, oh, we've Scott. had a fab day. We have. Really busy. We're all talked out and met some beautiful people and uh, had a couple of beers. Bought some snakes for the front of the boat. Stop it getting scratched so and badly. A, a big bag of wool. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to go home now, feed the dogs, put our feet up, and it's curry for dinner, isn't it, it I think, is, tonight? Yeah, yeah, curry for dinner. Great. So uh, just chill out for the rest of the day. But it sounds like the music has started up there. It yeah. sounds like it's going to get messy. <laughs> but we're out of it, so... <laughs> Come on.